Blame yeah, no, have I, you been watching be the, the Ukrainian war like it's Call of Duty like I have? No, not not usually. No, Man, I, I read about it occasionally. But he plays it. regular Call of Duty. You get on yeah. the combat footage subreddit or the Ukraine mm-hmm. video report 2022 mm-hmm. subreddit or the Ukraine report subreddit or the or the, Ukra- or the Ukraine subreddit. Um, yeah. Just war. They are going to war over there. And it's every aspect of war. You can see they have these drones in the ocean that are like a jet ski that barely sticks above the water with a camera and a bomb on it. And they drive them into boats and you've got onboard v- video, just like a call of duty kill streak. Oh, cool. They're, they're flying over with drones, dropping all sorts of ordnance right on the people. I saw a sniper. He was on top of a water tower, just like battlefield. You know how you mm. go prone on those things. Yeah. They've got a thermal drone. They drop an explosive and just turn him into <clears throat> bits. The this recently, is on a, like what happened the, to the, the water? Tower, all of this is all on Reddit and YouTube. Okay. Well, um, it didn't go on long enough, but I I would imagine it pump, punched a hole in the top of it. it okay. just, you know, um, and then this recently there was a special forces raid in a Russian trench where they are go- they are feet away. They're close enough to stab them if they had a bayonet. And one of the guys they killed was so close that they're like, "Hey, that's." That's the Russian propaganda guy. Here's his Twitter. This is him. <laughs> like they recognize the guy was famous. He went and killed like a Russian YouTuber in the fucking mm-hmm. trench. It was insane. Their close range was suppressed. He was guns. terrible at war too. He was like, bad I, I, at war. I couldn't yeah. get it. So there's imagine one. trench in a T shape. This guy was walking past the T and he never checked his left. He just and, and you know there's Ukrainians sitting there. They shot him like a lot six eight times yeah and who doesn't it's, look left I, I look left if i'm walking <laughs> like past my daughter's i look i look left like, and right when i exit my house maybe don't say like, that. What the, yeah that sounded creepy she doesn't <laughs> live here anymore it's an empty room but you know i don't just not check the doors when i walk by yeah Shit. i'll tell you where i didn't look left and, and it was every time you walk past somebody else's cell uh dude i had that hard wired because when you see movement you you want to turn your head toward it you just got to look forward and sort of down and know there's going to be movement. Nothing bad necessarily, but it's yeah. either side, left and right. You're walking past cells and it's just like, let's not invade anybody's privacy. This is all they have. This is their house. Don't yeah. look in there. Don't look in there because they could be jerking off. There's a whole procedure to jerk off. I was told I didn't, I didn't feel the need. I, I was a little terrified, <laughs> not, not very horny, yeah. <laughs> but like, I think you're supposed to turn against the wall and make this like blanket fort that you that you hang up with with uh clothespins or whatever and, and have a whole jerk session where you look into the wall uh I, I, you can't be looking in there though you never know what you might see or what them they might see, think you saw you might have just glanced up and not even seen the thing that they think you saw but now you yeah. gotta go yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's a good, that's a good point yeah. with the secret you didn't want to know perhaps mm. Mm-hmm. now it's just you and me who know yeah. so if anything happens i know you've told and you're like what? <laughs> no, I don't like this game at all. They can find out any number of ways. <laughs> You're already talking about telling, huh? <laughs> no one rats out Stabby McStabberson. <laughs> Stabby McStabby Pants is a problem. <laughs> now, the only thing I've seen from the, the like the Ukraine war was uh, this recent video of I think it was it was Putin just telling a woman to shut the fuck up during the Russian national anthem in a nice way. Yeah. He just went like he just went like. <clears throat> Like that, because she was talking during it. And that's all I've seen, really. That's crazy as the... fuck. I wouldn't say a word during any anthem in front of the leader of that country. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna dis. Yeah. Maybe you wouldn't even disrespect Justin Trudeau, and and he's as milk toast as well. <laughs> I mean, no country with an army. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Ukrainian war is tricky. I follow it every single day, and the counteroffensive expectations were set so high in the fall. They were rushing forward at like 15 30 miles an hour and the russians were retreating as quickly as they could and every time they stopped retreating the ukrainians caught up to them and they had to run again because they weren't dug in this time they are dug in as fuck and the, the ukrainians haven't even reached the really fortified defenses yet and they're just slowly going forward and it was pretty neat if you're pro ukrainian like me they're like, all right, they're losing Bakhmut, but they have like a 10 to 1 KD ratio. This is great. They're just ru- Russians are losing like 100 tanks on a bad day, 30 tanks on a good day, hundreds of soldiers every single day. This is going terrific. Well, 
It turns out being on defense, you know, they're camping. Of course, their KD is high. Now that they're the ones rushing, their Russian KD is the high one. And mm-hmm. it doesn't feel good anymore. That's what I read. Mm. So, um Anyway, they're struggling to get their country back, and it's. They said the Russians were losing six hundred men a day. Who I've said heard that? that. Yeah, uh, the United States. Yeah, and there's also I think the British issue like an, a near daily intelligence report that kind of backs that up. The British, British fun in this. The British have their own bone with Russia, clearly, and mm-hmm. and, and and I like no. seeing them go go like they don't need Biden to be like, come on, a little more. They're like, how about we just send something real scary. How about that? Oh, you're going to blow up London? Hmm. 50 more million of rockets. Send it, send it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what is it? Is it a Who's storm shadow? London? Is that what yeah. they gave them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. The Americans are like, I don't know if I approve on these direct attacks towards Russia with the high Mars we gave you. And British people are like, yeah, well, we absolutely fucking approve. Did you take your storm shadows and hit whatever you think is good? Yeah, and they do. They got those like, things are neat. I read that they um, so it's a it's like a, a thousand pound stealth cruise missile, but I guess it um, it can vary its speed. So it can come in slower or faster to confuse their uh, their defenses. Because hmm. I, I guess if you had a missile that always went a thousand miles per hour, just for easy math, you could you could program it. All right, anything you see, it's a thousand miles per hour. Intercept that. So they could just dial it down if they want. Maybe come in slow, like a like a pitcher throwing a change up. But when those things blow up, it's huge. And they're hitting those ammo stashes. I I keep seeing them hit recruitment centers and like ammo stashes and barracks behind enemy lines. And the explosions sometimes are colossal. In Russia. Yeah, sometimes in Russia proper, what even the most staunch Ukrainian would still say, like, that, that was Russia, Russia, Russia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, when they hit the funny stuff, I guess, again, funny if you're pro-Ukrainian, it, it, it just seems so weird how they've got these colonels up on the front line giving a pep, pep rally and they all have like 200 guys waiting for them to show up and they'll, they'll blow them all up. They'll mm-hmm. blow them all or they'll find out where these guys are sleeping and blow up their barracks. The, I mean, you the imagine you're doing some stupid shit like they stored, uh, they put their barracks next to their ammo depot in the basement. It was yeah. in the basement. So they blew up the ammo depot and got like 600 kills with it. Yeah, it's, you got to uh, be careful with your ammo. It's don't sleep fun. on your dynamite. That's Woody's war advice. I would want to be so far from the rockets when I slept. <laughs> that seems like really good, sound war yeah. planning. It's like, where do the soldiers sleep? Not on the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Not on. Somebody's got to uh, guard them, Taylor. Goddamn, General Taylor's a genius. He's going to save us tens of thousands of lives <laughs> by moving the cots sixty <laughs> yards that way. <laughs> I saw the uh, some footage of the um, U- United States Bradley. It's uh, like an infantry fighting vehicle, uh, and it's got this twenty-five millimeter. I'm pretty sure twenty-five millimeter cannon, semi-automatic cannon on the top. And when it hits, it explodes. It's a high explosive round. And it's just like, da-doom, 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 da-doom. And they've got thermal in there. So they can see the bot- anytime anybody peeks up. Oh, that's the best part. The, the thermal sniper right? videos. Have you seen the thermal sniper videos? Oh, yeah. Mm, it's cheating. I remember thermal from <gasps> MW2. And the reason people shit on good. it was because it was too good. I the saw a double headshot. Good. I saw a double thermal headshot. The- and he waited for it clearly. You saw He's got- that? Yes, these hmm. got two Russians are like goofing around, and this guy has the crosshairs on him for 30, 40 seconds until they cross, and he drops them both. It was insane. And and again, you see their body heat, so they're they're glowing white. There's no way to miss them. There's one where the guy Russians are trying to run from one point to another, and he's just tracking them through the darkness. And the, I'm far? sure he has a can't really tell, but he's got a suppressor, oh. so they can't tell where the fuck he is. They're just running around, and and it's just like Tarkov. That he's shooting at anything that glows white, just pink, 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 pink. Get like and they're trying to hide. Maybe? They don't know how they're getting shot. It's four or black. five kills. Does that sound right? Four or five at a time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I may have seen that same footage, and it's crazy. And I didn't put it together that they don't know where the shots are coming from because I'm like, why are you still there? Why you saw your friend drop? Like yeah. you need to to get out of the line of fire. But as far as he's concerned. He probably can't even like echo yeah, there's no way where to, the shot came from. No it, way to know. If you never heard a gun in the woods, it's hard to do it directionally. Mm-hmm. And with a, uh, with a suppressor, and they're in urban vi- environments a lot when when they're doing this. They're all using suppressors when they're sniping. 
for sure. That makes like sense. Anybody who's actually been geared and not <clears throat> just grabbed some shit. So I, yeah, I can it, imagine why he could make that mistake because you don't know where he got shot from. It's and you're it probably is stressed. A, it's a crazy war. I, I think the makers of Tarkov did a good job staying out of it because it's got to be so tempting to to be looking at this uh, war and, and and drawing from it for their game because their game is basically the Ukraine war. It's very similar setting, um, and it's 